Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to talk about routines. I was just talking about it for a few minutes, but I uh, sneezed and my nose was clogged up for a little bit, so I'm going to redo it. So I'm going to talk about routines and more specifically compartmentalizing those routines so you can have a lot of smaller plays that add up into a bigger play. So for the example of like just an example for this video's purpose, let's say you guys are going to do banana control routine as terrorists. And then you're going to go into med control and then your end goal is going to be to come back and do a B execution. It's pretty simple. It's pretty standard. It's pretty common. So I'm going to talk about the different routines that you can do as a terrorist to do that because there's multiple ways of doing everything. So let's say your standard routine is first person up with molly car and, and then flash like this to block back any enemies trying to push. Let's say they're giving it to you, and then you come here, you molly this, and then you double nade the sandbags. This is a pretty common uh, routine, and then you, you add a flash on top of it, and then you swing out, and you clear close and clear everything. That's like a normal banana control routine, right? But that's not the only way that you can take banana control. You can take banana control a lot of different ways. So um, Fnatic, for example, has a way where they smoke off up here, and then they molly this as well, I, th I think. Um, and this, this smoke denies any ability for like an opera to be here or, or here. Just It just like limits what you're able to do. And they do the smoke from spawn. That's their routine of taking banana control. Vega Squadron, um, part of their rush was that they would come up here. They would have first two spawns HE grenade close. Third spawn would flash like this. And they wouldn't even use a molly or a smoke or anything. They would just brute force right up. And if you're here, um, you're either like pushing up and you get naded, and then you have no health, and then you're going to be at this point where they just kill you, or you're trying to fall back but you're slowed down. You're over here with an AWP or something, but then that flash comes and pops and you're blind. So usually you're afraid of it being a full-on rush. Because if it's a full-on rush and there's five people running at you, you don't want to sit here, because if you just sit here, you're probably going to run over and die. So your reaction to the nades and the flash is, oh, fuck, it might be a rush, and you back up. That's another routine to take make, uh, to take banana control. So right there, I've just explained three different ways. One where you do the standard molly car flash over, and then you, you go slow and, and work it methodically and push them back. One way where you just smoke over here so that you deny that info, and then you, you come with nades and flash and push them back. And a third way where you just come with HEs and a flash, and you just push them back that way, take control of this, make a lot of noise, and make them think that's a rush. Three different ways, three different routines to take banana control. A fourth way could be that you let them have it at the start. Maybe you just smoke this off at the start. You say, ha, huh, you know what? I'm just going to smoke off the car and we're going to do it at our own pace because either you have to boost over it, push through it, or um, give it to us. So maybe this is the fourth way. We smoke off the car. So let's say we're still sticking the strat. We want to take banana control. And then we want to take mid control. So what are the different ways we can take mid control? A common way would be to smoke off left mid. And with that smoked off, you would do flashes. Maybe you do a molly onto the roof here. And then you would come out mid and boiler at the same time. So maybe you do something like, I don't know how the molly is done. Something like this though. Let's say you, you do um, a flash over top. So the, the molly did land there. I, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Relax. X, whatever. So you, you smoke off left mid. This is one way, right? Smoke off left mid, have a flash, come out and take mid control this way. Make sure that's clear. Make sure that's clear. And make sure that no one's in this corner. And then you've taken mid control, basically. You've pushed them back. Let's say you sit a guy in here um, to hold for a regress. Or maybe you don't want to be in boiler because you're afraid of a guy walking up with an off and killing you. So you have him here. Or maybe you sit your opera at this angle instead doesn't really matter. You've taken mid control and you have a guy holding it. Maybe um, on your mid control you also want to add in a molly there to clear out the cubby just in case. Completely fine. That's another routine, right? But you don't have to take mid control that way only. You could do a mid control where you have a guy that comes here and does a smoke, something like this, which will block off the right side. And then now you do the flashes and you go out and clear the left side of the middle. So maybe you do that smoke Plus you do a molly that will go and get anyone in the cubby. And then you do a flash that will get anyone who's peeking the, the angle off. And then you flash them and you push them back like this. 
and you also want to make sure that there's no one boosted on the on the porch roof and you basically take him mid this way and then again you can sit a guy out of here or you can sit a guy here or you can get him to actually peek in here like this it doesn't really matter so that's a, a different routine of taking mid so you have smoke left side that's one routine you have the right side smoke that's another routine you could do the right side smoke from back here if you wanted to hell you could even do the right side smoke from back here if you wanted to boom right so you have all these different ways of taking mid control um but you don't even need smokes maybe you do a drive maybe you do a routine where you have a guy with an op who's just going to do a flash to get the enemy opera off the archer angle and he's going to come and post up boom he has this angle cleared off maybe you have another guy that comes and i don't like if this guy's here obviously you can't do a molly um so maybe they molly like this flashed and then he comes and posts up with his op right and you have while he's posted up with the op maybe you have a guy jumps out like this and then a, a second guy that would come out and trade right after that's another way you do it kind of dry without smokes molly in a flash boom that's it maybe you do it in a way where you do um let's say the enemy smokes here and let's say you just do a flash where you have two guys jumping out one guy jumps out hard looking right and another guy that just strafes out a second after, looking right, and you have two people doing the exact same thing on the left. So one guy jumps across the left, and then the other guy just strafes through, right off one flash, right? You can do that. Just take mid control with one flash and just brute forcing it and just getting trades if the enemies are fighting you. If they're sitting here, like one guy here and like another guy here or something like that, and they're fighting you, you get those trades. You've taken the bomb site now because you get those kills. Different ways of taking mid control that are all valid and different ways that you, you're still approaching your end goal. So your end goal is you're going to do a B execute. So B execute is again another subroutine. It's a small routine that is compartmentalized. So you have your B control and you have all those different variations of that. You have your mid control, you have all those different variations of that. And you have your B exec and then you have all those um, variations of that. So in your B exec, you could do something where, again, you let's say you flash first and then you smoke after. So let's say the flashes are going off. Let's say you go do a flash here and then like a couple of flashes up here. And while those flashes are going off, you have this guy smoke here and then another guy, like let's say this guy back here will do um, a flash over the site and then smoke spools and then flashes over again. So you guys are running in while the flashes are popping off and the smokes are in transit. And by the time that this guy over here is unblind, there's a smoke in his face now. Maybe that's one way that you do a B exec. Maybe another way that you do a B exec is you're going to do the smokes for coffins and spawn. You're going to wait for the enemies to retaliate by doing a molly here, or maybe they smoke it instead. Maybe they burn a flash. They're wasting a bunch of stuff. And you say, okay, well, they've just wasted this stuff. Now we're going to do um, a molly for emo. Maybe we do a molly for triple if i remember it i don't really remember it it's something like this though i missed it whatever i'm just gonna do a top oranges molly instead because <laughs> i remember that one so maybe i molly top oranges and we molly emo right on our execute after we do our smokes the smokes are up for about five ten seconds and then we do this execute that's completely valid i'm gonna i'm gonna get it right for the purpose of this video, right? I got it right there. So I, I know how to do this molly. I'm just a little slow. Okay, I got it. It's done, perfect. So you do your smokes, boom, boom. You wait, you don't do anything. And then finally, when you wanna execute, you add in a molly, you add in a molly, and then you start flashing and going, right? And then you have like another five seconds of smoke cover, the flash goes up there, Maybe you flash back call on your way up. Boom, you're coming in, you're clearing everything that's not mollied off, and you're taking site control. That's another way to do it. And another way that you can do it is you could do something like um, boom, boom, right? I'm just gonna show the smokes, not specifically the lineups, but just to show you that you can do smokes that go front side of site, flash over the site, and then you're gonna push into spawn, and then you're gonna wrap back calls also completely valid and then when the guys are at this point here maybe you're like okay we'll add in the mollies now so 
two or three people will push back holes and you have one guy sitting back here that does a mully here and then you have another guy that's over here doing the mully that lands um, oranges however it's done close enough right so you, you're coming through the back holes and the mullies are landing and the mully landed emo and you're wrapping the site and clearing everything that way it's another way that you can do it so right there i've shown you flashes first exec i've shown you in like a normal normal exec where you do the smokes and then you wait for the reaction and then you do the mollies and flashes and go i've shown you another way that you can do front side smokes and push into spot right so you have three different ways of doing the execs or three different routines for it so right there i've shown you at least three different routines to take banana three different routines to take mid and three different routines that you can end with a b execute it's all the same strat it's the same idea take b control take mid control and b with the b exec but there's all sorts of different variations of it and your enemy might not understand like what strat you're doing just because you've tried it so many you've done so many different variations of the strat that you know they don't know oh they took b control this way this time i don't know what that means but then you're still ending with the same thing that you would do if you end, um, did a different sort of b control and you could do four different b controls and still end b with a b exec and you could do a bunch of different b execs right so when you do the smokes first right and then you're sitting here and you do the smokes and then you do nothing you do nothing for 10 seconds no molly no flash the smokes are landing they're blooming they're up nothing's happening you haven't made any noise the enemies are sitting there thinking oh maybe it was just a fake we have to push mid or something like that or they're about to do something but then you start doing the mollies and the flashes and you start going in while the smokes are still up in that case if you do an execute like that what you could do is you say okay let's take b control one way using one of our routines and this goes a little bit deeper and and maybe it's something I should say for another video, but just to give you an idea, let's take banana control. We're going to go take mid control. And then we're going to go back and we're going to do a B execute. Let's say that the B execute that we did, we did this, the same coffin smoke, the same spawn smoke. And on one of the rounds, we waited, they bloomed. And then five seconds after that, when we saw what the CTs were doing in response, like mauling or whatever, we would molly flash and go, right? So what the enemies might think is, oh, they're doing that same strat again. Let's push down mid and flank. Or let's rotate from arch and go rotate to B. Because they think it's still a B execute. What if you do the smokes with two people and three people are waiting here? Now you say, we're going to do B control. When we have B control, we're going to go do mid control. Then after we have mid, we hold mid, we do a two-man B fake, you fake the execute with the smokes, and then you're going to walk up mid. Oh, that guy's rotating the arch. You have two people walk up this way into arch and wrap the site because now there's no arch player. He's already rotated towards B. By the time he realizes it's a fake, it's too late. He's going to come back and you're already up arch. Let's say there's another guy that wants to push this way, and you just have a guy sitting in boiler like this ready to kill him. Or maybe he's out at a, a different angle that's not there. Right? Maybe he's up here or something like that instead. I mean, or maybe he's sitting down here and you're waiting for this kill. And that's all because you have all these different routines. So you're making little things look different and you have different ways of taking it. So, for example, if I knew that the enemy was playing um, just a single rifle at arch side, maybe I would just smoke right side off and then flash this guy off, have an op post up here, and then come clear mid this way and just walk up and just push them back and now if this rifle wants to repeak my opera kills him and if my opera misses or something or the rifler kills my opera i come around the corner and kill him right so you have these different routines based off of how the enemy plays um so for example if i know that the enemy is opping at b i might want to do it a certain way where i just smoke him off maybe i just smoke off this portion What's he going to do? Sit right back here and look for a boost? What if we just flash and run through with this smoke now? This is too dangerous for him. It'll push him off. It'll make him play a little bit more passive. Or maybe if I know that he has an op or something, then maybe we do sort of like the Vega, where we double HE the top, flash it, and push him off that way. Because now, if he's got an op up here, he's afraid of a rush, he's going to back off. But if I know that they have rifles, and they might be inclined to 
to push and peek with rifles, maybe that's when we decide that we're going to do the method where we require all the Molotovs. We molly there, and then we're going to molly there, and then we're going to double HE and everything. Maybe that's our other reaction if they're running a rifle setup, right? So you have different routines based off of what the enemy's doing, and then because you have different routines, now it's easier to sell fakes, it's easier to compartmentalize strats so you know like, okay, we're doing this and we can do one of these ways and we're doing that and we can do it one of those ways. And it keeps your enemies guessing what you're doing. It's making it harder for them to adapt and counter, counter you by saying, oh, this is what they're about to do. So let's heavy rotate or let's get ready to push them. After they do this thing, they're going to do this and we can push them and kill them, right? So if you have different ways of, of doing all these smaller things, then it, it makes you a really dynamic and strong team. Anyways, I hope this video helped. I hope all my thoughts were clear and concise. And if it did, good shit. All right, good luck. Stay safe. Peace.